Hello everyone and welcome to this Rackspace Email and Apps Control Panel Walkthrough. My name is Melissa with the Knowledge Center team. So the first thing you'll need to do is log in using your admin ID and password through cp.rackspace.com. But the first thing I'd like to show you is just adding a mailbox. It's, it's one of the very first things that you'll do as a customer with us. Now you'll see here I have two domains listed so the first thing that I'm going to do is choose the domain to which I wish to add a mailbox. Now you can see here I have four mailboxes already in use. I can see the date those mailboxes were created, the last time the user logged into those mailboxes, how much storage is actually being used by that person, and then of course I can either disable that mailbox or log in as that user. I'm going to hit the Add Mailbox button. This is going to take me to the Mailboxes screen. Here I'll need to put in a few user details name and then username. Now your username is permanent. You can't change that uh, in the future so bear that in mind as you choose your username you will want to do so thoughtfully. I'll put in my, my password for requirements just click the link and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do to stay secure. You can see I have uh, every Rackspace mailbox is given 10 gigs to start so now I'm going to come down, hit save, and now you can see test account 22 was indeed created. Propagation time for new mailboxes or any services that you add in the control panel is about 10 minutes. So you will want to give it just a few minutes before you attempt logging in. Let's go over aliases. So an email alias is one email address that points to multiple email addresses. So you can see here I've got my HR staff, my sales team, and my support team set up to receive emails. All a person needs to do is send sales at mydomain.com and it will send to those people that I've chosen. So to add an alias, click add alias, name it whatever you want, and then choose the addresses to which you wish that alias to point. Once that's complete, simply click Save and your alias has been created. I'm going to click on over here to Spam Filtering. You can spam filter for your entire domain or for individual mailboxes. So once something has been identified as spam, you do have the option to tag it or to handle it however you wish. So let's say an email has come in as spam. I have several options here available to me. I can go ahead and deliver that mail directly to the spam folder. I can set for it to delete after a certain number of days or total messages. I can delete the email immediately. I can include the word spam at the beginning of the subject line or I can deliver to another internal address. To get back home I click the Rackspace hosting icon. Stay tuned for more videos in this series where we break down the control panel section by section. Have a great day.